Just recently, OpenAI revealed a fresh batch of powerful AI tools that are not only much better at coding, but also take it easy on your pocket. With the competition in the world of artificial intelligence heating up, especially among big companies, OpenAI's latest move feels like a bold and exciting step to stay ahead in the game. The company, which is based in San Francisco, introduced three brand new models that are ready to use right away through its API. These include GPT-4.1, a smaller version called GPT-4.1 Mini, and an even more compact option named GPT-4.1 Nano. The amazing part is that the three of them have been designed to handle complex software tasks with more skill and accuracy than before. Not only that, but they've also been trained to follow user instructions more clearly and can now hold a huge amount of information, up to 1 million tokens at once, which is roughly the same as 750 words. That's a massive leap in memory power. At the launch event on the 14th day of April, 2025, OpenAI's Chief Product Officer, Kevin Weil, shared his excitement about the upgrades. To give it a little more hype, he said that GPT-4.1 doesn't just beat the older GPT-4.0 model, it actually outshines it in nearly every way. That's a bold claim, and it shows just how confident the team is about their new tech. But what's probably the most exciting part for businesses is the new pricing. The main GPT-4.1 model now comes at a cost that's 26% lower than what people were paying before. That means companies can do more without spending as much. And for those looking for something really budget-friendly, there's the Nano version. It's the cheapest OpenAI has ever released, with a price tag of only 12 cents for a million tokens. That's a game-changer for developers, startups, and anyone who wants powerful AI without breaking the bank. Well, the already said things are not the only thing that makes the new model special. So keep watching to know more. GPT-4.1 solves real developers problem. In an honest and heartfelt conversation with the tech news source, VentureBeat, Michelle Pokras, who leads the post-training research team at OpenAI, opened up about what really inspired their latest work. She made it clear that the whole reason behind building GPT-4.1 was to create something that would actually help developers and businesses in real life situations, not just look good on paper. She shared that everything about GPT 4.1 was carefully designed to be genuinely helpful for people who build software and tools. According to her, this new model has become much better at understanding and carrying out the types of instructions that real businesses use every day. That kind of improvement means developers can now build tools that are more reliable more polished and ready to be used in the real world without needing extra fixing or adjustment. And if you're wondering whether that's just talk, the numbers speak for themselves. On a well-respected test called SWE Bench Verified, which looks at how well a model can handle software engineering tasks, GPT 4.1 scored an impressive 54.6%. That's a huge jump of 21.4 percentage points higher than the previous version, GPT 4.0. It's not just a small upgrade, it's a massive step forward in making these AI models actually useful where it matters most. For companies that are building smart AI helpers, ones that can do tough tasks all on their own, the latest improvements are a big deal. One area where GPT 4.1 really stands out is how well it listens and follows directions. On another challenging benchmark test from scale called multi-challenge, the new model got a score of 38.3%. That's 10.5 percentage points better than what GPT-4.0 could do. All of this shows that GPT-4.1 isn't just smarter, it's also more practical and ready to make a real difference in how people build and use technology. Challenging the competitors. OpenAI's latest release brought not just one, but three different AI models to the table, and each was designed with a specific purpose and price in mind. It's a clever move that shows the company truly understands how fast the AI world is growing and how different people and businesses need different things. Their main model, GPT 4.1, is made to handle really advanced and complicated tasks for big companies. Meanwhile, the smaller versions, which are GPT 4.1 Mini and GPT 4.1 Nano, are perfect for those who care more about speed and saving money than raw brain power. Michelle Pakras, one of the key minds behind these models, 
explained that not every job requires the smartest or most powerful AI. Sometimes all you need is something fast, simple, and dependable. That's where the Nano version shines. It's built to be a reliable little helper for everyday tasks like finishing sentences, sorting information, pulling data out of documents, or anything else where quick results matter more than complex thinking. While all eyes are on the exciting new models, OpenAI also shared some big news about one of their older ones. The GPT-4.5 Preview, which came out just a couple of months ago and had been the most expensive of all, is being phased out. By July 14, it will be removed from OpenAI's API. That model had been charging quite a bit for about $75 per million input tokens and a whopping $150 per million output tokens. But now, GPT-4.1 is stepping in as its replacement, offering the same or even better performance at a much lower cost, with faster response times too. This change isn't just about saving money, it's also about making better use of OpenAI's computing power. By retiring their most expensive model and offering something more efficient, the company is freeing up space and energy to keep improving. And for developers, it's a total win. They get a smarter, quicker, and cheaper option without losing any of the features they need. Now let's see how various organizations confirm the model's capabilities. Confirming its strengths and weaknesses. Before the official launch, many big companies had the chance to try out the new models from OpenAI, and the results they shared were honestly quite exciting. Each of these organizations saw real, measurable improvements in the specific work they do, and this proved that GPT-4.1 isn't just powerful on paper, but genuinely helpful in the real world. Thomson Reuters, a well-known name in the legal and news industry, tested GPT-4.1 with their AI-powered legal assistant called Co-Counsel. What they found was a 17% increase in how accurately the AI could review multiple long legal documents at once. This kind of improvement makes a huge difference when you're dealing with huge pages of complicated legal writing, where small changes in wording can completely change the meaning. For legal professionals who spend hours sorting through contracts or legal files, this kind of boost means they can work faster and with more confidence. Meanwhile, the investment firm Carlyle discovered something just as powerful in a very different field. When it came to pulling detailed financial information from complex documents, GPT-4.1 performed 50% better. For people working in finance, especially those making big investment decisions, being able to quickly and accurately find tiny pieces of financial data hidden in dense paperwork is absolutely essential. This improvement could easily help firms make smarter choices with less time wasted. And then there's Windsurf, the company behind a popular coding assistant tool that was once known as Codeium. The CEO, Varun Mohan, gave an inside look at what GPT-4.1 was able to do for their development process. He shared that this model was much smarter at knowing which files to look at, reducing unnecessary file reads by 40% compared to other leading models. Even more impressive, it made 70% fewer unnecessary file changes, meaning it's better at making only the edits that matter. It was also noted that GPT-4.1 doesn't talk too much. It gets straight to the point. In fact, it uses 50% fewer words than other top models when giving results or explanations. All of these results show something really special. Whether it's legal work, financial analysis, or writing code, GPT-4.1 adapts beautifully to different kinds of tasks. It's faster, sharper, and more thoughtful than the models that came before it. And more importantly, it actually helps people do their jobs better, which is exactly what the future of AI should be all about. So, OpenAI has really stepped things up with their newest models, all of which now come with a massive context window of 1 million tokens. That's eight times more than what the earlier GPT-40 could handle, which was just 128,000 tokens. What this means in simple terms is that these new models can take in much more information all at once, whether that's several big documents or entire libraries of computer code. It's a game changer for people who need to work with lots of data in one go. To show just how powerful this new capacity is, OpenAI demonstrated something quite impressive. They had GPT-4.1 dig through an old NASA server log from way back in 1995. This was a file with a whopping 450,000 tokens. 
Hidden deep inside that giant pile of data, the model was able to spot something strange, something that stood out as unusual. But OpenAI didn't shy away from admitting there's still work to be done. They've noticed that when you feed the model extremely long inputs, like the full million tokens, its accuracy starts to slip. In one of their own tests called OpenAI MRCR, the model scored around 84% when working with 8,000 tokens. But when pushed to the full million, accuracy dropped to about 50%. This was just a reminder that even though the model is powerful, there are still limits to what it can handle smoothly. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.